Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Dr. Patrice Matshaba with the request that you confer on him the degree Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. The decision by Council and Senate to award the degree was taken on the grounds of the following considerations. Dr. Patrice Matshaba is the president of the Novartis Foundation in the United States, an organization that seeks to improve the health of low-income populations through various innovative programs. He was appointed medical director and chief scientific officer at Novartis in South Africa in 2000 and transferred to the pharmaceutical corporation's offices in the States two years later. Since then, he has made his mark in the industry, excelling in various leadership roles at Novartis. He led the successful development, registration, and launch of a new breakthrough heart failure drug, Entresto, and managed the opening of new pharmacovigilance and safety signal detection centers in India, Argentina, Ireland, and China a passionate advocate for corporate social responsibility, Machaba is also at the forefront of Novartis initiatives to address inequalities in healthcare across the globe. He supervised the development of new anti-malaria medicines and initiated the Novartis Africa Sickle Cell Disease Program in Sub-Sahara Africa. In addition, he launched a new Novartis Africa Sub-Sahara organization that incorporates 47 countries with the aim of increasing access to medicine and strengthening health systems in Africa. In addition, his strong support for Stellenbosch University has regulated insignificant funding contributions to the Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences to sustain training and research initiatives. Mr. Chancellor, I hereby request that you confer the degree Doctor of Science Honoris Causa on Patrice Matshaba for his outstanding contributions to pharmacology and clinical science, his leading role in addressing disparities in healthcare and research capacity globally, and applying his knowledge to improve medical treatment and quality of life for people worldwide. And I shouldn't be uh, wasting too much time because you gave me three minutes, right? Uh, uh, first of all, thank you to, to all of you, parents, teachers, faculty. Um, it's a special thing to be a teacher. You mold us uh, into what we can be uh, and to contribute to make this world a better place. Uh, I want to start by thanking the Chancellor. Justice, thank you for the kind words and for welcoming my mother, uh, my next of kin, uh, someone I shared uh, the womb with, my sister, I came out second, uh, and uh, my lovely wife uh, was given us three children and, and, and a grandchild. Uh, uh, Professor uh, Vim, uh, can I tell the personal story? He called me about uh, three, four months ago. I was in Barcelona then. And um, uh, you know, everybody's working from home. And then he told me about the decision that the university had made. And I asked him for a minute, because I was emotional. I was emotional not just because of the offer uh, and the recognition. It would have been different if the recognition had come from Harvard or Oxford. But when a recognition comes from home, it makes a personal difference. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with the new head and dean, uh, an accomplished uh, transplant surgeon. Uh, I just reminded her that Novartis was the company during Sandoz time, I think, that discovered cyclosporin uh, through a fortuitous story, actually. That's exciting, and there's exciting technologies there. And then uh, I have to say thank you to Jimmy, um, a, a lot of history. When I finished my fellowship in obstetrics and gynecology, and I actually did it here at, uh, at, uh, <coughs> at uh, Critical Hospital in 95, 
Uh, and I got tired of clinical practice because I wanted to go back to research. It was only Jimmy who took the chance with me. Uh, if you could give Jimmy just a round of applause, I would not be here because of Jimmy. So just a few words. Uh, I think I'm into my second minute. Uh, the theme I want to talk about is uh, congratulations on the over 200 years on the centenary and for transforming Stellenbosch into a South African university. It is outstanding. We are all proud of what you have done. Extremely proud. And, and I want to, uh, you know, phase, call this second minute, what about us? Uh, I think the Chancellor mentioned something. We've lost millions of people during COVID. But what we saw also <clears throat> politically and as an industry during COVID was the closing of borders, the shutting down of supply chains, the wording of vaccines, the wording of PPEs, of countries acting independently, ignoring centuries of epidemiological advice that you cannot close a virus out by shutting the border. So when I say, what about us? What I mean is, there's an opportunity for Stellenbosch to lead science, technology, cutting edge, messenger RNA, DAPINs within Africa. There will be more pandemics. We understand there's more pandemics because we've destroyed both plant and animal biodiversity because zoonosis has increased. And it's only people who are not smart, who bury their heads in their sand. And then when the next pandemic happens, we ask the same question again, what about us? So for your next decade, I would implore you, lead the academic constellation in Africa. There is an appetite, even amongst the politicians after COVID, to fund, to contribute a certain percentage of their GDP as a fixed percentage to research, education, and technology. The third minute before it's over. What about our moonshot? Why do I say what about our moonshot? Uh, I've lived almost all my life outside the country. Uh, yeah, outside, yeah, my birth country. Uh, but always come home maybe three, four, five times uh, a year. And we have a very close relationship with the faculty. John F. Kennedy in 62 said, we choose to go to the moon not because it is difficult. Not because it's easy, but it's the difficult thing to do. What about Stellenbosch? Being the NIDAS for all African universities within the framework of the Transcontinental Free Trade Agreement as your next wave. Not to imitate Harvard, MIT, or Oxford, that you become the center for academia, research, and innovation. I think somebody said at one time, we will only rest when the son of a farmer and the son of a farm worker have the equal opportunity to attend education and to explore and to contribute to society. I'll end with one more quotation. Somebody said in 2018, it's time to talk about Africanization of Stellenbosch. And congratulations. I always end, I was in Philadelphia last week, and I always end with one quotation from our ex-president Mandela. People always tell you it's impossible until it's done. Thank you.